what's going on everyone Monado Max here today is the release of Paper Mario Thousand Year Door remake for the Nintendo Switch and of course that means we must continue tradition of doing our ultimate unboxing videos what's been interesting about these ultimate unboxing videos this year is it's kind of been a journey for me with these videos the unexpected happens pretty much and uh, the ones that I've done videos for are always the ones that end up being a crazy experience anytime it's something that I don't film it's like a normal GameStop experience but uh, <laughs> there's been a lot of interesting experiences last time we did this was Princess Peach if you guys didn't see that video I almost got killed by a customer because he really wanted that Princess Peach game <laughs> Uh, but what's interesting about this video is I couldn't actually get a pre-order for this game because I'm actually going out of town the moment that the game stops open up. I'll be uh, on my way to Georgia. So there was no way for me to really pre-order the game uh, without, I mean, there was just no way I could get a pre-order since I was going to be out of town. So I'm going into this with no pre-order and this is probably the worst game supposedly to go without a pre-order because if you haven't heard, uh, GameStop or not even, like actually GameStop and Target, I believe are the only people you can get or were able to get a pre-order for this game. Walmart canceled all the pre-orders and then gave everyone a $25 gift card due to canceling the orders. And then I believe Amazon uh, canceled their pre-orders or they just never pre-ordered it in, or had pre-orders for it in the first place. And uh, yeah, this, this game is all over the place. A lot of people think it's going to be a crazy release. From my understanding, and a lot of people don't realize this from also my understanding, is Walmart has said that Nintendo wanted this game to be more done in store rather than online uh, which would make sense because if you look at Amazon's pre-orders they don't even have Luigi's Mansion up there they had a similar situation with Endless Ocean when that came out earlier this year I, I think this will be a very interesting video we might have to go to multiple game stops and if that gets to be too annoying we'll just go to a Walmart because I've seen how much Walmart's getting uh, sent in store and Walmart is probably going to be the easiest. I've gotten to the point where I'm like uh, these videos The the drama we might just have to go to Walmart on the traveling ones uh, A friend of mine literally told me Max. I don't even care about the unboxing at this point I just want to see the ridiculous journey you have to go through to get this game And I feel like a lot of you guys at this point probably only watch these videos to see how much I have to go through to get this game. What's also another thing interesting about this video is I'm going to be filming two other videos at the same time, I believe, or on the way. I'm. You guys won't be seeing these two videos till later next month, but it should be very interesting to be filming three videos basically back to back to back, some right then and there. It's gonna be interesting. It's an experience for me. I'm tired. We're leaving to Georgia in like 30 minutes. I gotta stop. I gotta finish packing. I'm pretty much already finished packing, but yeah, this should be an interesting video. I, I don't know what to expect. <sighs> Let's head to a GameStop, I guess, at some point. They open at like 12 o'clock. I'm surprised they didn't do a midnight release for this game for how big it is. Uh, but they did a midnight release for Mario RPG. I think that's wild to me. Anyways, let's head to a GameStop. Hopefully this will be easy. Hopefully I don't get somebody trying to kill me for a game. Or I don't have to be inspired to help a pizza party happen at GameStop. Or I don't know what's going to happen next. Is this person going to be like, ah, I, I don't know. What am I going to be asked for next? I don't know. Let's see what happens. Let's head to GameStop. All right, so we're at GameStop number one, hopefully the only GameStop I have to go to. Uh, they've been open for about an hour. I was filming one of the other videos, and I've been told that this is actually a really good GameStop, the one that we're going to. Uh, we're in South Carolina, and uh, yeah, this actually looks like one of the biggest GameStops that I've ever been to. A lot of people think the local GameStop is big. They just don't have the inventory. I am probably going to wish that I went to the local GameStop by the time I uh, leave in disappointment. Hopefully not leaving in disappointment, but let's see if they have this game.
Doing pretty well, how about you? I have not. I actually am traveling, so I wasn't able to pre-order the okay. game. All right, so you're looking at 6824 tax dollars. Is that with a protection plan? Mm -hmm. I'll pass on the protection plan. You don't want the protection? Nah, I don't throw up? my games, unfortunately. Oh, I just meant like an internal issue. Oh, yeah, yeah. no, no, These no. These are hard to mess up on the outside, but they are hard. They do sometimes mess up like some of the Pokemon games, too. But anyway, you're looking at 6419. I gotcha. All right, I mean, you're I all appreciate set. it. Thank you. You have a good one. You too. What's up, man? All right, we just got out of GameStop. I feel like I'm literally back home because we're doing this right at like a normal background that we would film this videos because I would be in my work uniform and everything, but I'm actually not in a work uniform. This is like weird what's going on here. That GameStop was huge. I don't think I've ever seen such a big GameStop. They had like a display case for statues and stuff. Um, I don't know if it got on camera. Well, first of all, it was an easy process, easy. But I thought we were gonna be forced to buy a protection plan. I'm not gonna lie. The guy didn't even ask about the protection plan. I just, I know GameStop's tricks because I'm inside of a GameStop a lot of the times. I know that they're supposed to get their numbers up and they get in trouble if they don't. That guy never asked. Um, I think this is the first time that I've never been asked for a protection plan or even it be mentioned that it was added to my bill or whatever you want to call that. Um, I just, I heard him say $68 and I was like, yeah, no. I know South Carolina taxes aren't that high down here. So I asked him, is there a protection plan? And he got caught off guard by that. He's like, oh, uh, uh, yeah, there's a protection plan. I told him I don't want it. He's like, are you sure? What if there's problems? I'm like, yeah, I don't throw my games. This is my response. Normally that gets them to back off. I've never had somebody question my uh, throwing the games trick that I always use. But this guy, it was like, but what if there's mechanical problems? I was like, wow, this is the first time somebody has actually tried to come back at the throwing games comment. I, I think this is the very first time in the history of this channel. But here we are, we got Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. This is obviously the GameCube game uh, that got remade for Nintendo Switch. Super happy to have this because I have not played a proper Paper Mario game. This is considered one of the best Paper Mario games of all time. And uh, the last one I played was Origami King. That one was garbage. I hate that game so much. Then I played Sticker Star. That was actually my first Paper Mario game. I enjoyed that, but I know a lot of people hate that one. We gotta realize that I have not played true Paper Mario. And this was the last true Paper Mario game out there. So I'm really excited to play this. And uh, you know, something very interesting about this uh, people have gone into the code of this game and have found that there is a 4K version out there of the game. Obviously, the Switch doesn't do 4K. So, I think what that means is when the Switch 2 comes out, we're calling it Switch 2 because we don't know an official name for the next Nintendo console, it's going to have 4K. Nintendo's finally learning how to develop consoles. Uh, by the time uh, they get 4K, 8K is going to exist. But, hey, Nintendo's doing their baby steps. Let's go ahead and open this up. I, uh, I'm not littering, don't worry. And no, it's not Keith that's holding the camera. I know a lot of you guys keep asking about Keith. Um, honestly, it's gonna be a while till we see Keith again uh, because the next time we do an unboxing video, I'll be on the road too. And I'm not bringing Keith with me on the road, so yeah. Here is the game, we just, wait, I didn't even say the iconic, the reason why games are $60. I'm all over the place, I'm sorry. The reason why games are $60, this, oh, that's a receipt actually, That's. I guess that could be part of the reason. This right here, the reason why games are $6. This value is now 30 bucks. If I went into GameStop right now, they're only gonna offer me 30 bucks for this now. So let's open it, you guys get the first look. Am I gonna be impressed about the inside of the case? Camera person, is it cool? Uh, she's 50-50 on it, she's like, uh, so I don't know if that means I'm gonna like what I see. I mean, it's it's better than nothing, I guess. I mean, the last few times have been kind of disappointing. I mean, it's got Paper Mario. You know, I don't know what's up with everybody getting a pre-order bonus. In America, we got nothing for pre-order bonuses. If you look at Japan, uh, if you look at the UK, they got all these crazy pre-order bonuses. All we got was this. Or, that's not even a pre-order bonus. This is just a regular game. We got nothing. I don't know why we didn't get a pre-order bonus. Anytime we do get a pre-order bonus, it's not the greatest compared to Japan. They get the coolest things ever. Apparently you can get like a whole 
Paper Mario stage and a set if you pre-ordered over there. And then in Canada, we're gonna show an image right now. You get the GameCube cover included with the Switch cover because it's like a GameCube game. So it's like a GameCube cover that's made specifically for the Switch. It says GameCube, it looks really cool. And then we got nothing. That would have been cool if they would have made the GameCube cover right here as the inside. Not a pre-order bonus, that should just be a normal thing. But Nintendo doesn't know how to do anything. Anyways, let's look at the cartridge right here. I'm already not the greatest. I'm very disappointed, actually. I'm very disappointed. You could have put like a Paper Mario right there. It's got the background, it's got the logo, but it has no Paper Mario render. I mean, obviously I'm the only one that cares about what the cartridges look like, but I'm a little disappointed in this one. Uh, but it's as expected because I'm the only one that cares. No one's going to care about what a cartridge looks like because it's going to be inside of the system. Why should you care? You shouldn't care, but I care. Anyways, that is it. That is all I have to say for the unboxing. I'm going to be playing this on the way to Georgia. I got to head to film another video now. Uh, I filmed two videos today, and it's about to be three videos today. So we're multitasking. Uh, this is interesting because I know so much that's about to happen in the channel a few weeks from now. And you guys are like, <laughs> what is he talking about? Uh, great times, great times. Anyways, I have been talking for way too much. Did you guys pick up the game? Do you have any crazy GameStop stories to tell? Uh, I, I feel like we didn't have too much of a crazy experience. I think the protection plan is kind of funny. And then him not acting like he added it to the, the thing, the total. Kind of funny. And then he was like, uh, what if you mechanical problems all that good stuff i don't know let me know in the comments down below what you guys are thinking i've been talking for way too much backslash that subscribe button like the video check out the twitter check out the instagram check out the discord server check out everything else that's in the description below we will see you guys in the next video peace